today. <clears throat> I'm gonna do a big river, bit of land, sky, mountains, river, uh, from a river. I've done a, a um, vertical line all the way across there. Right, uh, right, I'm just gonna wet everything through so it's such a elevated, such elevated. I think I'll just wet the lot through. I think that's probably going to work best for me today. Wet the lot, saturate it. There we are, all the way through. Up and down, right, right. loads of water in there, loads. Probably end up with a big pool at the bottom, but I'm all it up. That's right. Don't worry. I've actually got water all on my screen. Right, so that's that. So now nah, I want. Steady with this because I don't want too much in. It's quite a thin, a thin amount. Oh, that's that's probably perfect at that. Wash my brush and then just want a thin amount and a sort of purple colour up here. That's it, just a thin amount. I should come in, I'll come all the way through. Do a little, little dab in there. There, that's nice. Um, oh, yeah, um, clouds I want there. So, some of that purple. Take it a bit more blue. Got some greyish, purplish clouds in there. So, I'm just mixing up. Oh, that's a lovely colour. A nice cloud colour. And they sort of come in here. Oh, that's nice. Something about like that, I think. That's it. I wonder if I can just sort of drip that that way instead of it all dripping down. And that'll help. Might have to might have to dab a few bits as well. Hopefully that'll drip that way. Right, let's have some that way and all so it drips up. That way. Mm. Go on. Go that back up. There. See if it'll drip up that way. There's no rush. Just chill out. Up that way. This just helps you with your flow of paint. You see that you call you're controlling your flow, aren't you, by just letting it do whatever you want. I'll try a bit that way so it drips down there a bit. A bit. You know what? These clips are not helping at the minute. It's cockled. Just take them off for a bit. I'll put them back on in a bit. Dee -dee -dee. Diddy diddy a cord. Try to blow it into some direction. It might work. Again, it might not. No, it's a bit more up that way. Let's have some a bit at that angle. I'm thinking at that angle. All this, it's all helping, you see. It's all helping it. That paint go exactly where I want it. And there's just a few little clouds at the bottom of there. I think if I put it that way now, and then if I blow it that way, that might help it a bit.
puts me sky on. I'm putting this little clip back on on this top bit just because it's all gone really curling out. There we are. I'll leave that bottom one, I think. Stick that back down there. About there. Right. Um, hmm. Now then, I just need these background hills in now. I suppose they're sort of a bluish, purplish colour with a really, really thin paint. Let's have a look at this, see what this is like. Just a bit, a tiny bit on the detail. Right, so right back here, there's a nice little one about there, comes down there. Now, is that too faint? And then it comes back up there, slightly bigger this side. Up there like that. But I've got to work out, is that too faint or is it okay? Well, what I might as well do, so I don't get any lines. I'm, uh, there's a big one here, I might as well put the lot in. So there's a big one there, about like that. I'll stick that one in as well just so I don't get any. This one will go darker, you see. Dee, 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 there. Now let's stand on here. There's one that sort of comes up. Sort of comes up here. Up there like that. Let's just go across there. To me, horizon online there, and then there's a big one that comes right down there, like that. So, pop them all in. I will be going darker as I come in more, you see. Right, so that's that. Um, I suppose I could put my water in. Oh. Oh, I'm just looking at water, that water's probably. Similar colour to that, what I've just done. Maybe just a tiny bit more blue in it. Let's have a go. I've added a tiny, tiny little bit more blue into that same colour. And I'm just, all I'm going to do, I'm just going to go straight across in one swipe like that. There. I'm not worried too much about that bit. But if I wanted to, dab it back out. No, that worked. Well, that's alright. Can I let that dry a bit? In fact, let's give this old thing another dry. And then go back over with some more water. Just really in a bit of that purple colour. Let's try that. Let's try it on a spare bit of paper. Just put a little bit of mud in it as well. Straight through there, like that, straight through there, straight through there. That's not bad. Like that. Up now, some more blue. Come in, let's test it and test it on a bit of spear. Should be all right. Just come across. Oh, oh that's nice. Look at that blue on top of it. That's it. don't like that line there but there's not much I can do because what's happened it's uh, where my paper's cockled it's same again if you're on a good walk up paper that will not happen 
But look at it, it's a mess. Can you see it, that little line? Oh no, that's it, it's polishing it out. Oh, that's perfect, I've got rid of it. There were a liner through there. Liner, a line through there, and it were a mess. It's where my paper's gone up and down like that. That's trouble with this cartridge paper, there's not much you can do, apart from put your hand in your pocket, buy some dearer paper. Right, I am gonna pop this in again, it's not quite strong enough. So I did my ills in this background. Fuck, oh, oh, that's not bad. I'm gonna pop them in again. In fact, I'm gonna make them more blue. That's too purple, there is. Get them more blue. There. Let's see if we can come across there. Across the inner. We know where all these other ills is going. So just come straight across into all the others jobs are good and this horizon line here you can even do that all right there that's nice really nice that's perfect now to give that another dry <laughs> So I've got a hill there, so I think that's this. What have I got here? So it's just a big in here, yeah. So let's get that big in. So that's more. Ooh, it's still quite a bluey colour. So let's get some cerulean blue. I think I'm just going to mix in uh, just some uh, tiny bit of browny muddy green i've got some mud in the bottom of my palette so it's basically a mud color a tiny bit of that purple and all see what that looks like so i've just done like a muddy blue color yeah that's just mix them up similar to that and you'll be laughing a bit more water in there soften it out we're only coming all the way across so we don't get any harsh lines in there so that's that one um, and then to the one where's to the one to the ones here which comes through there then. so get that one in just comes down through there like that it looks on it there Well, I'm happy with that. In fact, I'm just, just going to give that a dab there. Not made much difference, but I suppose it's softened it a bit. If it's a bit too harsh, chisel your brush. I don't think this is going to work. I'm going to have a go. I think that's a bit strong there. So chisel my brush with some water. Get some water on, stick a bit in, and then dab with dabber. But I, I think it's stained it too much. It's not gonna. Oh, it has. It's took it back a bit. Lovely. Didn't think it would. It's not done much, but it has a bit. Right, so that's that. Now then, what we got now? So we've got that one, that one, and did, did, did. there's another one. Sort of here now. Another one. Let's get that one in. So. This one's going to be even darker, so probably a bit more purple in there. Let's have a go. So this one's sort of... Mm. Oh, I think it's there. I think it's coming through there, like that, like down there. Down there. And across a bit like that. That's it. And then again, same again, I'll come all the way across. Add in a bit of water in. Don't want no sudden lines in here, so I'm going to come all the way across. And just keep adding paint. Every time I add paint, it's going to bring it slightly closer. Here we are. 
Send that bit there. It's slightly of a meter rising line, so I'll just rub that bit back out. Sand. Right, that's that. Now then, so I've got that bit, that bit here is just a really dark bit then. This is darker than that. Well, tell you what, I'm going to fill it in with this colour, but then I'm going to glaze another colour on top. So, so it comes up there and then straight down there like that. Oh, and I've gone over my horizon line again, I think. Dee -dee -dee. I'll have to dab that out. Not to worry, this brush and just dab it out. Right, so that's that. <coughs> we need tea left. Oh, a little bit. Ah, yeah. Right, let's have a look now. So now, there's like a, yeah, there's another darker one on top of this side. Put a tiny bit of mud into this one now. Muddy colour. Right, let me. Let me have a quick blast with dryer. So this comes over here like this. Down there about like that. Just sort of straight down like that there. And then water it down as we go across again. Into there. There we are. Wobbly dubbly. Let's get that edge there. Sand, right. Same colour. What do you call it? A tiny bit. This one's closer. I think there's a tiny bit of green in here. I've added. Oh, that's nice. So I've added a tiny bit of green. That's just in there like that. Something like that. Bit of water. Oh, that's nice. Oh, very nice. And I think I am going to just pop in some more green. Let's change the green colour. Dee dee dee. Gotta be careful. Gotta get this green jewel stripe. And it's gotta be really subtle. Should blend in slowly and subtly, hopefully. Right, so that's that one. Now then, in here, there's another bit there. So let's mix some more. So it's cerulean blue, purple. And this has got a bit of green in it as well. See what this looks like. So this just a little bit sort of comes through about there, like that. You can see some little treetops on it. Perfect, that is. Then the same again if I come down there. Across there. And blend it all in. That's it. Get this. Grab that horizon line back where I've gone through. There. That's it. Dee -dee -dee -dee. There we are. Nice. Um, right. Through there. Let's take this one a bit higher. Sort of about there, innit? That's it. There's some little darker bits in there and all. There's a bit more texture in this one. Because it's that little bit closer. Softening brush. Get that dry. Mm. Looking at this 
bit here. See if I get a few little reflections off that one. A few little reflections in that one too. Off that bit there. That's nice. Put in there and all. Now I'm not looking at this. There's little stuff that arises in there. Wants an extra bit popping in. That's it. There. Right, let's get that dry. Cerulean blue, that's nice, and then I'm going to whack in some greens. Get on top of this with some spiky bits. Just so that, just I just want that to look like just the little tops or a few trees and stuff. So this sorted down here below that bit. Down there. It actually comes out across there. Tell you what, let's bring it across there and then use that bit for the thing. So there's just a slight hill behind it there, that looks nice. And then we'll get all this in. And then we've got that under colour. Some blues. Oh yeah, that looks lovely. I'm well pleased with that, that's nice. So that's that. Um, now then, let's see if I can get cut into this horizon line a bit. And just get some of that. Bit of a reflection maybe in there, perhaps. I think that's a slight reflection in there. What's happening? Let's pop it in a little tiny slight bit look in there. Just a little tiny bit in there and all. There we are, that looks nice, doesn't it? Ah, that'll look. Give you some of them bits across anyway for some little waterliney bits. That's nice, isn't it? Look at that. Oh yes. There, lovely. Ah, now then, we're on home stretch now. Right, let's get some. I not even wash my brush, just gone straight into that yellowy cream colour that I used in my sky. I think, oh yeah, that looks nice. Come straight into there like that. Bring that in through there. Uh, let's alter it colour just because we can. Why not? And why not? There we are. Straight into there. Give me an altered colour. And then, I don't know, let's soften out in these corners. Same again. Why not? No particular reason. Just thought it might look right. There we are. What's that? And let's give that a dry. Friend Esmeralda just fell out with me. She's always moaning about something. Oh, 
I'm struggling need a light bit there. Yeah, she says, throw me on the bed and do what you like. So I threw her on the bed and went to the pub. I don't know what I've done wrong. Can't understand it. I don't know, women. A bit there. These are just some bushes and stuff. I think I'll just come down there like that. Oh, that looks nice. And then, what else shall we do? I think we need some darker greens, don't we? Let's bring that green into this mud. I've got some mud in my palette. I've just bought my green into the mud. I'll bring it into a bit more. My mud, I think, is sort of the bomb tumbler and a pain's grey. In fact, I'll tell you what, let's get some of that purple from my sky. Whack some of that in. That's going to look gorgeous. It's going to hold my painting together well. So I've dipped that green into that purple now. There we are. Perfect. Put the same on to the side. Purple out of the sky into that green. So some of that cerulean blue. It not looks cerulean blue because it's mixed in with these other colours, but mix a bit in. nice there we are lovely and then I think I will need some really really dark mud colours probably some yeah let's go for some uh, bond tumber if you haven't got any bond tumber try burn tumber but I like to use the bond tumber it's better there some more that purple as well one tumbler of purple, a bit of Payne's grey. It's still not that dark. It's not dark enough. Right, let's get some water on the bush and mix a serious amount of paint there. The paint's not mixing very good at all. It's all dried up in my palette. There we are. I need to start re-wetting it a bit before I start. There, bottom, but paint's grey. Let's come in a bit accurate now, because get right up to this edge here. Look like that. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I like that. There, and then drop it in like that. And that's all my low lights in there. Look, you see. There, nice. Same with this side, right across this bottom lump, and then just drop in all your low lights. There we are. I'll squeeze that out now, that'll do me. Oh, Doofus's dad, he's been questioned by police. Says to him, Where were you between 8 and 10? He said he thought he was still at primary school. He's blown that in there. Into there, across there. That's a bit of darker green in there. Oh, wow, that's nice. Oh, yes. It's varying my colours. This is just my land. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Mm. wonder if there's any. So, which way my light's coming in? I think. Actually, these sort of trees, they're behind the hill, so I don't think there is any shadow coming off them. Just pop a bit of that in there. I don't think there's any shadow coming off because I think they're behind the hill. So, try to blend that out if I can then. That's better. Um, right, that's that. I think what I might just do. Try and get. Tiny bit of designer's white gouge on my brush just to cut in front of them mountains there. There, that'll do. Dee 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 dee. And I think we're about sorted at that. So, look what we got. Definitely, I think. couple of little boats. There's one on me. Flat hell of it. Yeah, that's nice. Couple of little boats just there. 
I'm gonna pop some more reflections in. That looks nice. Um, Peter and Paul's managed to get out, flying about still. They're still out there. They're up in the sky, where shall we have them? Let's have them over here. Peter, oh, Peter and Paul's up quite close today. Paul in there. And I'm gonna have to dry a bit of paper to put my blade in. <laughs> It in there, boy. Do it, do it, do it. Jobs are good. And 